we fairly quickly, for such a structure that size, learned that, again, this was a false report, and then there was not anyone there shooting. Uh, but I also became aware of, at some point during that search, again, it's a huge structure, uh, that two groups of law enforcement had come into contact. And during that initial contact, there was some confusion as to who was law enforcement and who was not. And this raised a flag for me and for others in the command post. If you look at previous interactions and you look at some of the lessons that not only we as the state police but other agencies have learned, and in this case I'll point to the marathon bombing in Boston, you'll see that some um, friendly fire or blue on blue uh, had happened in the air, and this was a concern for us initially that night. We have anywhere from, I've heard estimates, 400 law enforcement officers in the area responding to calls. We needed them to do that, but we also needed to mitigate that risk both to the public and to law enforcement as best we could. Uh, it's my job as someone in that scene to mitigate that risk. I'm never going to eliminate it, and there are times where we asked and our law enforcement first responders did put their safety above that, uh, or uh, put the public <coughs> safety, put themselves ahead, or put the public safety first, I apologize. So that, I mean, you saw that in Da Vinci's, you saw that at both of the initial scenes. So first responders went in and did exactly what they've been trained to do and what they should have done when responding to an active shooter. So uh, as this kind of continued,